Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. Press Pass TV is a youth adult partnership nonprofit whose mission is to produce socially responsible journalism while at the same time promote a more diverse media, empower communities, and increase civic engagement. Press Pass TV works with Boston area youth to produce a short news segment that tackles underrepresented social justice issues and celebrates those organizations and individuals working to make their community a better place. Middle school and high school age students engage in all aspects of production from developing questions to editing the video. All content is distributed through the web to local classrooms across local access stations in Massachusetts and on national TV networks like Free Speech TV. One of the most recent and topical segments they produced was simply called Mr. President. It asked hard questions about social responsibility and who and how best to assure those who are struggling that there is hope in the American system. System. Joining me this morning are Joanna Marinova. She is Director of Programs at Press Pass TV. Also with us this morning, Latia Larocque. She is a vocalist and MC who was featured in the video, Mr. President. Finally, Renee Dongo, the director of the video, Mr. President. I'd like to welcome all three of you for coming in and uh, this morning. Thanks Thank for coming for to Urban us. Update. Welcome. Uh, well, we're going to roll a little uh, video uh, of Mr. President and talk about it, I think, uh, on the other side. But perhaps, Renee, if you could sort of, sort of set us up to give us a, a sense of what we're going to be looking at. This is the video that so many people are talking about, uh, Mr. President, that you made. Sure. Um, well, Mr. President is a film about uh, the U.S. jail system and kind of bringing up uh, questions about how we should go about uh, being responsible for what goes on there and the repercussions of it and features a lot of MCs, local MCs from Boston, like Lyrical and uh, E-Rock from the Foundation. So, yep, it's a very cool film. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. Uh, Mr. President of the video produced by Press Pass TV. Let's roll it and talk about it on the other side. And you were just looking at a video entitled Mr. President, produced by Press Pass TV. We are going to take a little break. When we come back, we're going to talk about uh, the production team that made this very interesting uh, video and what they were trying to say. Stay with us. We'll be right back. For five years, Press Pass TV has gathered some of the brightest and most dedicated minds in media to work with students. With humble beginnings and an after-school program at the Dearborn Middle School in Roxbury, Press Pass TV has become an integral part of the community, serving young people in schools throughout the city of Boston. And now I'd like to talk about that video we just saw in the, uh, the first segment there, uh, Mr. President, produced by um, everyone involved at Press Pass TV. And I'd just like to go around the, uh, the table here and sort of uh, get everyone's idea of what um, what were you trying to, what was the message you were trying to get across, what were you trying to accomplish in that video? Uh, Joanna Marinova, you're director of the programs at Press Pass TV. Tell me uh, what's your take on that. Well, I think you hit uh, on it earlier that this is about hope, and really this is the message of the video. And it's interesting because in Angola, 89%, which has some of the worst prisons, 89% of the prisoners are doing double, triple life sentences, yet the head of corrections there allows the men to have an inspirational radio show because he realizes that the one thing he must provide them with is hope. And if these men in our prisons don't think that anyone believes in them, don't think that anybody expects more of them, don't think that they're going to amount to more than a reputation on the street, that creates a dangerous situation. And if the correctional system is producing hatred, racism, and anger that, that then is being released onto our streets. And um, the deputy superintendent of the Boston police, uh, Paul, um, sorry, Paul Joyce, has said on many occasions that the violence we are seeing on the Boston street is directly linked to what is happening behind bars. No, so uh, Renee uh, Dongo, the producer, you're the director, excuse me, of, yeah. uh, of this video. I guess, was that, is that where you're aiming at? No, this is being, it's being shown in prisons. And well, I guess, how, what do you feel that you were trying to convey in this video? The aim for this video for me, uh, Press Pass came to me after seeing a couple of videos I did with uh, Sophia Snow and I think uh, Jesse Winfrey. Um, and the idea was to, to sort of bring up questions, to have people sort of discuss what's really going on um, with our jail system. We have a, a tremendous problem with, you know, uh, you, you know, it's like the numbers are ridiculous. Right. So, yes. so it's kind of like, what are we going to do with this? Are we just going to forget about it or are we going to really, you know, Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Now, uh, Latia, you uh, obviously, uh, you're a vocalist, an MC, you're, you're very, very good, uh, featured uh, in the, um, you really stood out in the, in the video here. I guess, what, what were you trying to convey in your role about, uh, about the prison system, what you wanted to say to the president? 
Well, I mean, well, for me personally, it, w it was definitely an opportunity to give a lot of inmates that have opinions and that have a voice a voice because of the simple fact that the media is usually the main outlet that they have. It was definitely an honor because, you know, Daryl Jones, which is an inmate, um, did write the piece. So it was an opportunity for me to actually be a vessel to allow them to, to have a voice. So for me personally, that was definitely a, a great opportunity. And a lot of the issues that are stated in the, in the um, documentary or the film, it, um, it's, it's questions that are, all, that are on a lot of youth's minds. So. Now, you, it, it sounds almost like if you're, you're, you're challenging the president to do something about that. There seem to be a little, little edge to it. Uh, is, that, is that what you meant to do? Well, like I said, it's, it's questions. It's real questions. It's, it's, you know, this is the youth speaking now, and also, you know, individuals that may get ignored, which are inmates that also have these questions. So, you know. And, and if I can just jump in, this is exactly the group of people that Obama needs to be addressing. If he can speak to terrorists, if he can speak to school children, if he can go to Guantanamo, then he should also be able to take and should take leadership over these often forgotten prisons and prisoners and the people overseeing them and let them know that they are valuable and that we do expect something from them because people's lives are at the crossroads between these prisons and our communities. Um, Renee uh, Dongo, I guess, is, is that what you're trying to do again? Uh, really trying to, to, to challenge the president? Like I was saying, it, there seems to be, I don't know, are you expecting more from this president? I mean, I think we all expect a lot of things from uh, Senor Obama um, because he's so, he's just like an icon um, of hope. And in reality, I mean, we have to sort of push issues that we really believe in. I think this is an issue that we can all get behind. This is a great amount of people sort of just cast away and we forget about them. And I think we really do need to look at how we're going to go about um, figuring out what happens after. Um, after this, you know, after the sentence is done, what is, do they do? Is there anything that, uh, that, I guess, how would you like the president, uh, to, if you had a chance to talk to him, how would you like him to address this issue? Um, I don't know who wants to take a crack at that one. Um, I think it's about, think? it's not only about uh, the responsibility of government, but it's about individual responsibility. It's letting the men and the women that are behind bars saying that you're also part of this community and this society, and you have a responsibility to contribute, and the people that are holding these individuals are also responsible for rehabilitating them and their well-being. And uh, I guess, uh, what, just to play the devil's advocate, what about the people who are... I guess maybe we aren't so sympathetic about this. Say people are behind bars for a reason, and uh, we have uh, we have bigger fish to fry. We need to be concentrating more on the people who were law-abiding citizens. What, what about uh, I guess just playing? I think a lot of people lose sight that 90% of these men come back to our communities. So even if you believe that they should be punished, the system shouldn't be making them worse. And you know, being a white woman, it has been difficult standing at the forefront because many falsely see it as a black issue or as a minority issue. But this is a huge problem. This is about the safety of children in our communities. And uh, I guess I'll let you. I guess I'll let you have the last word here. I guess if you could uh, talk to President, how would you like to, the President to, to to address this issue? Well, I would just simply like for him to address it because I think that um, as far as politics go in the youth, we've always felt there was a disconnection. There's always been a disconnection. It seems like we, you know, youth were just never heard. So if he can simply address it, then that I'll be fine with that, regardless of what it is. Address it and and definitely don't lose sight of youth and lose sight of the inmates because we do have a voice. Well, one more question, I guess. What kind of feedback have you gotten uh, on the video? It's been pretty good feedback. There, it's gotten into the UN Film Festival. It has, um, we've sort of been showing it around, and it's been gotten a lot of uh, sort of getting people talking. Okay. And I think that's really cool. All right. Well, uh, Renee Dongo, jo Joanna Marinova, and Latia LaRook, all from Press Pass TV. Congratulations on the project, and then good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, it's a landmark in Boston. It's a tribute to American architecture, and it's a house of worship. Trinity Church reaching out to bridge the sacred and the secular, helping the church and the city work side by side. Stay with us. We'll be right back.